Let's look into the past life of Queen Camilla. Yes. Queen Camilla, her past life. I'm, I'm curious, like, how did we get here? I, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of strategy how she got here this time, but I'm curious about that past life. So that's what we're going to do today. Of course, all legend for entertainment purposes only. It's not fact. It's my psychic downloads, snarky opinions. And if you love the royal family and you're the biggest fan of Camilla, click off the video. Thanks. All right. So Camilla in a past life. We've got 24 cards we're going to use to see what we can find out. And if you want to do past life reading, you want to see how I do it, join me in the Moon Moth Manor. I just added that tutorial in there. So you could access that, learn how to read tarot, learn about crystal healing, and then also get all the other perks. So we're going to put down all our cards here. And of course, I don't have enough room for all of them. So we're going to stack some up. Oh, gosh, I don't want to see. I don't want any sneak peeks yet. All right. Was Camilla a male or a female in her past life? Oh. Kind of tomboy female. She was always out there trying to help people, giving advice, giving them help. Okay, well, let's see. Let's continue on. What was Camilla's mother like in this past life? Oh. She was a uh, fancy pants lady. She's enjoying the fruits of her labor. Let's see what daddy was like. Oh, long time love. Daddy was this guy from a long time ago. They were sweethearts. They came together in this past life and they made Camilla past life person. Very loving. Interesting. Hmm. From childhood to age 22, Camilla in this past life. She had a bunch of ideas. She's very creative. She can tell you how to get things done. She, this part of her give and help. She's, a, she's got a lot of ideas as a youngin. All right, this is age 22 to 30. Mm, not sure what she wants to do with her life. She's got to make some decisions. She's great at giving advice to other people, but not so much at uh, examining her own life. Age uh, adult, 30 plus. Oh, man, she's a queen of some sort. She's up there on her throne. She's just that in a, I, would, I was going to say a bag of chips, a bag of biscuits, I guess. Not dog biscuits, but if you want to make that inference, go ahead. She's got it going on. She's wealthy, powerful. She's all that. Who knew? Her outer personality in this past life. Oh, Jesus. It's the tower. Oh, my God. So, mm -mm. she's going to bring problems to your life. This is what the town's saying. They're like, don't get, don't be taking no help from Camilla. She's got all these squirrely ideas and it's just going to bring us nothing but trouble. So you stay away from that Camilla. Stay away. In her personality, you got a problem. I'm going to solve it. Knight of Pentacles here. I am reliable. I will keep digging, digging, digging until I get the job done. If you need a bigger shovel, I'll find it. We'll figure it out. We will get this done. Determined. She's going to hold on to something. Urgh. Oh, my. Her life purpose in this past life. Mmm, the star. She's over here. She's trying to tell people, I can, I can heal you. I've got the ideas. So she can heal you. She's got the ideas, but she's also on display. She's on display. Occupation. Not the wands. Mm. This is a weird type of occupation. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that because at five of wands, she's just fighting with people. It's almost like she's there bulldog hmm. weird weird job for a lady in the past okay her partner did she have a partner nope 
they all left her ass. Probably because she's drama-rama. So she didn't have like a serious committed partner. That doesn't mean she didn't have some, you know, dalliances or boyfriends. All right, did she have any children by men who left her? Mm hmm. Nope. Nope. She didn't want to be bothered with those pesky kids. All right, this, uh, there's a critical life-changing event that happened. What is it? What can we know about it? Four wands. Hmm. Something at home between one of her partners. Between her and one of her partners at home. Hmm. Maybe this is why there's something. Okay, recurring theme. Okay, we got to get back to that. And then a response to how this all went down. Hmm. Trying to figure out how to legally protect herself. Some dude. Okay, I'm thinking there's some dude here. Who knows how many of the suitors. But there was some dude here. She thought, oh, it was all like happy and rosy and whatnot. And then we had some troubles. And then I did not have a proper agreement in place. And he like took all my shit and ruined me. At least this is from her past life experience. He took all this shit. And so now in the future, write it down. What's mine is mine, and what's yours is mine, but more important, what mine is mine. She wasn't going to let herself get fooled again. Damn romance. And her passing, what can we know about that? Hierophant. We'll have to check that out. Unresolved issues from that past life affecting this past life. Mm-hmm. Families are a pain in the ass. People are a pain in the ass. These people you make ties to, you cannot trust them. It's a it's a mindset she's just continuing with. You can't trust these people. Mm -mm. Interesting. I wonder if she even trusts Chuck. All right, how this past life's affecting this life. Oh. Lessons learned as essentially being abandoned or screwed over by her former suitor, suitors, whatever, um, she's made this big change of like, it's hard to go it alone. So you do need to level up. So it's hard to go it alone, but the best way to do it is if, you know, you need to get yourself a king. You need to get yourself a king and think about your future and what you're looking to do here. Don't be like, you gotta like, strategically scheme right so i'm wondering if there's something with this partner she chose and her advice to move forward and resolve past karma uh, you're going to have to look at all the heartbreak that you caused other people and and how your actions and words and devious shit you're doing is uh perhaps not the right action you have to stop looking out for number one all right <clears throat> all right let's get back into Let's go to the occupation here. There's five of wands. It's like, she's going to solve your problem. You're having a problem. Past life Camilla's coming in. She's going to solve it. She's going to fight off whatever's coming to get you. I don't know I what I'm gonna say is like she's a fixer of some sort in her past life here <clears throat> she gets great pleasure from taking care of other people's problems and um, she she will go to any length to do this if this is like she's got a and this is crazy because I'm just she's well she's kind of tomboy so but it's like yeah, I can break some kneecaps or I can just plain take them off the island. Whatever you need. No problem. No job too big, too small. She's like a fixer. Weird. But I guess it's, in one way, probably no one would have suspected her. They'd be like, oh, that's Camilla. But that's why nobody wants to be around her because word must have gotten out about her. All righty. Let's see here. The partner 
they, all the partners left her. Why do all these partners leave good old past life Camilla? Seven of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Because they saw her as seeing how they could be used to further her advancement. She might have come off like, I love you, baby. But they all said, like, you're just using me for whatever you can get out of me. And so, no, nope, that didn't go well. All right, so that's another thing everybody knows about her. She just brings drama. She's a fixer. She'll fix any problem. And she's just looking to further advance herself. <laughs> now, this critical life event, life-changing event, what can we find out about this? Like, she had some relationship with some dude. Looks like he left her. I guess let's pull these out, too. So we can get that whole story there. Because then she's like, you got to protect yourself. You got to put yourself in a legal position where these dudes can't mess with you. All right. Okay, this whoever this dude was, she she thought she was smarter than him. And she was, you know, she put on a little mask. She probably need, you know, she put on a big mask, whatever. She put on this mask to this guy, and she's like, Oh, George, I love you so much. And George, George is pretty smart. George, he knew what he was getting into, but George thought, let's play it out. I know what kind of woman she is, but damn it, there's something about her. I gotta mm, have her. So George is with her, and then George sees what she's up to, that she's just trying to hitch her wagon to his, <clears throat> basically take whatever he's got, take that and run, and move forward. George ain't having that because George is like, listen here, I hear the scuttlebutt around town. I know what's going on. And if uh, we're going to have to end this, babe, because I, I hear the scuttlebutt and I know what you're trying to do to me. And I was just trying to see if this was going to work out, if we could find some way to make it work. We're not. So we're going to cut this off. And uh, basically you're a chick. So you didn't get one up on me, so I'm going to take it all away. So this is where in the future she learns about, like, I need to protect myself in relationships. And um, because he, like, took everything away from her. But it looks like it was his to begin with, most of it. And she's like, but that was mine, the house, the chariot, the whatever. And he's like. That was mine. You were with me to get these things. Now they're all pulled away from you. And it turned her life completely upside down. And that's why she is like, no, you you need to make sure you're, everything you're doing going forward, you are leveraging it and so that you're not losing on your way up. Mm-hmm. All right. So then let's check out her passing. We have the Hierophant there. Oh. Oh, I'm not going to take you, Hermit. I think you're just a flop. <laughs> All right. Hierophant, Camilla's past life, passing. Two of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Wands.
she got caught. She got caught being this damn fixer, and they put her in the, like, sentence. Like, they put her in the pokey, put her in the clink. She got caught. And she had to do time, and that's where she passed, in the clink. <sighs> Scandalous. She, she, I, I'm thinking she must have had a partner in crime here with this two of cups. Let's see if she had a partner in crime as she's the fixer. Chariot, Knight of Swords, Page of Swords, Two of Swords, Strength. Yes, okay, so she did have, we'll say an apprentice working with her. They both got caught, and that's why she ended up passing away in the clink. They both got caught. He was the apprentice to her, and yeah, you can't be doing that. You can't be a fixer over here in these streets, Camilla. Mm-hmm. And all right, so let's just then... Let's see if there's um, lessons that she learned in this past life. Lessons she learned in this past life that she's using in this life. It seems pretty much like she just leveled up her game. But Oh, chit. Oh, tower. Great. All right, bring the chaos and make sure you stay out of the way. Great, bring the chaos and make sure you stay out of the way. Take what you need and go. Man, all right, okay. Always be 10 steps ahead of what other plans other people are working on. It's uh, advisable to have a mole wherever you need one. Grease their palms, be their friend, do their favors for them, because then they're going to give you information that you can use to strategize ahead of time. Oh, well, she just seems like a wonderful person. Good Lord. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Let's last ask, because I'm just curious. Did Camilla and Chuck were they together in a past life? You know, Chuck. Charles. King Sausage Fingers. No. Got Page of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Ten of Wands. Four of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. I don't know if it's tied to this life. I'm not feeling that it is, that we just read on. But yes, I think they did have past life connection. And I do think that they were in a relationship in a past life. Um, I, don't, I don't think the connection was like as deep it is in this life. Uh, like, I don't know, flash in the pan relationship or something. Uh, there's a reason, like, there was a burden to them, like, being together, trying to hold this relationship together, but they didn't really put in the effort in whatever past life it is that Charles and Camilla were together. It was, again, based upon wealth. Who knows what this past life was, but... Um, I don't know if Chuck had a lot of money in his past life, but maybe she was trying to get it. Maybe she had money. I don't know, but it's almost like a half-ass attempt at a relationship in this past that they had. It wasn't as deep as it is now. So, all right, there we go. The Past Life of Camilla. So, thank you for watching. Join me in the Moon Moth Manor, AliciaWicker.com. Until next time, adios.